Hey guys, how's it going? Kuroda, Rob here. Uh, something a little different today that I've been... I was kind of an idea I thought of, uh, actually, the other day. And, um, because we've, I've had, like, a large influx of <clears throat> new subscribers, I wanted to kind of see if there was a way that I could get to know everybody better, so I thought a good idea would be for me to tell you guys a little bit more about myself. So, um, this was just like a fun little idea I had for a video, and um, basically what I'm going to do is I came up with, I'm just pulling this up right now, I came up with 20 questions, um, just 20 random questions that popped in my head. Um, I'd say a, a little, maybe like a third of them, or less possibly, are about gaming, but um, it's just all about myself, and um, I guess maybe, uh, you know, this will be, like, a, a lot of this you guys won't know who are new to the channel, but some of you who've been here for a long time and who I know uh, personally probably will know um, some of this, if not most of it. But uh, I, either way, I thought it would be fun to do because <laughs> it's like a, a different kind of kind of thing, and uh, I thought it was um, a good way to just kind of put myself out there a little more and uh, let you guys know like who I am. So without further ado, here's the 20 questions that um, I came up with. Okay, so the first question: How old am I? Um, this is a simple question. Uh, right now, as of recording this, I'm 28. Um, the day this will be published, uh, two days from that, uh, which will be a Wednesday, will actually be my birthday, so I'll be 29, so I might as well just say I'm 29. Uh, unfortunately, I'm going to be 30 next year. Ooh. <laughs> anyway, um, question number two, where am I from? I am originally from New Jersey. Um, I'm not going to say exactly where, but I'm from New Jersey. Um, I was born and raised there. I lived there for the first... 20, how old was I, 22, 23 years of my life, and then I moved to Montana for a year, which was fun, that's where I met Ned, who uh, is uh, on this channel, um, and I moved there for, or I lived there for a year, then I moved back to New Jersey, and now, as of last fall, I moved to New York State, like, upstate New York, not New York City, it's a lot different, believe me, it's a lot different than New York City, um, and I moved in with my now wife, who was my girlfriend at the time, Rachel, who you all know from the channel, and she's Canadian, so that's pretty much it. That's where I have lived, and uh, I'm basically a Jersey boy, unfortunately. <laughs> Actually, New Jersey's really not so bad. It gets a lot of shit, but uh, in some ways it really deserves the shit it gets, but it also, uh, it also isn't really that bad of a place to live. Okay, uh, question number three. What is my favorite game? My favorite game of all time, if I had to pick one, is probably Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars for Super Nintendo. Why? Um, because it incorporates uh, some of my favorite elements. Uh, RPGs. They're probably some of my favorite games of all time. Uh, Mario games, which I absolutely love. Uh, and then it's a partner between two of my favorite gaming companies, and that's Square, well, Squaresoft at the time, and uh, Nintendo. And it was a very unique game for its time, I think. There was nothing really that, there was not, there wasn't an RPG that came out uh, around that time that was really like Super Mario RPG. And they still, I think, as good as like the first Paper Mario was, and Thousand Year, Year Door, and um, Mario and Luigi, and stuff like that, they just weren't able to replicate the, um, the uh, the world and just the whole vibe of Super Mario RPG. I thought it was just a wonderful game, and it's a game that, believe me, will be I'll play on this channel. I'll probably play it with Rachel, um, but that's probably my favorite game of all time. Some honorable mentions would be like Earthbound and Mother Three. I love the Mother series, uh, Chrono Trigger, Super Mario World, Super Metroid. Um, you know, name any Zelda or Pokemon games you want, or uh, Resident Evil. I mean, I love all kinds of stuff. So. Um, but yeah, Super Mario RPG is probably my favorite game of all time. Number four, what is my favorite color? My favorite color is probably purple, but, uh, I love black, but it's not technically a color, it's a, uh, it's a shade, so black, purple, and blue are, like, the best. So, yellow is pretty great, too, I have to say. <laughs> yellow is a great color, and so is brown. 
I'm, I'm a big fan of like darker colors. I'm, I mean, I know yellow is obviously not, but um, yeah, darker colors are great. But yeah, purple, I guess, technically. What is my favorite console? Number five. Um, my favorite console of all time, I mean, you guys probably know this, but my favorite console is the Super Nintendo. It was the first, well, technically we got the Super Nintendo and the Sega on the same Christmas, but the Super Nintendo was first the, the first true console that I fell in love with. Uh, we got our console in 95. I was very lucky. My parents got us a Sega Genesis as a gift, like as a collective gift for me and my all of my siblings, uh, which was amazing. And then that same Christmas, my aunt <laughs> got us a Super Nintendo. When we got the Super Nintendo, I freaked out because I had played the Super Nintendo a bunch before that. I um, at my, one of my other aunt's houses, and that's where I first uh, fell in love with video games, like and particularly Super Mario All Stars and um, Super Mario World. That was that was my uh, really the thing that just that just got me. So the first, so the Super Nintendo just holds a special place in my heart. And of course, as I mentioned, Super Mario RPG, uh, you know, Super Metroid, Link to the Past, Kirby Superstar, um, Chrono Trigger, Final, all the Final Fantasies on there, like. There's too many games, Super Mario Kart, like there's too many, Yoshi's Island, oh my god, how did I forget Yoshi's Island? Like, too many games that I could even mention, you know, <laughs> that I just love, so that's, uh, it's Super Nintendo hands down. Second would probably be N64. Um, number six, what is your favorite movie? Um, my favorite movie of all time is probably the very first Star Wars, uh, so episode four. I love the series as a whole. Particularly the original trilogy, which I think everybody does, but without question, Star Wars is is my favorite. Um, I also really love The Nightmare Before Christmas. I really love the Lord of the Rings movies. Um, I really love Jurassic Park. Actually, honestly, Jurassic Park, the first one, might be the second because I just I absolutely love those movies. So, but I would say definitely Star Wars, the the. The original trilogy would probably be my favorite movies of all time, without question. Um, okay, question number seven. What music do I like? Um, if you guys haven't figured this out by now, but the videos I've done, I'm a huge, huge fan of rock, especially like classic rock and like, and like, you know, heavy metal. But when I say heavy metal, like earlier heavy metal and stuff, and progressive rock, I'm a huge fan of progressive rock. Basically, I've figured out that like, I'm a fan of just rock and roll in general, it, it seems, because <laughs> most of the stuff I love is rock. That it isn't to say that I don't like some stuff, some other stuff. Like, I like early rap. I like some, like, I've been in a big Johnny Cash mood lately, which he's kind of on the border of, like, rock and country kind of stuff. I'll listen, listen to jazz once in a while. Not so much classical, I'll listen to that a lot. And, of course, video game soundtracks. I listen to video game soundtracks probably as much as I listen to, like, some of my favorite bands, so... That's by and large the stuff that I listen to. I can't get into pop music except for stuff like maybe Michael Jackson or like, I guess the Beatles are considered pop, you know. But like newer stuff, I just I try. I really I've I don't know. Maybe I've just I I judged it, judge it too harshly. But like stuff like you know, most pop and most mainstream rock now I feel is so formulaic and I just I can't, you know. It's just there's not much depth to it in my opinion. So, but. Uh, if I were to say what my favorite band or musician is of all time, it's Pink Floyd. Um, Pink Floyd is the band that got me into music. Um, Pink Floyd, uh, their album Dark Side of the Moon is my favorite album of all time. So Pink Floyd without question. I mean, Pink Floyd shaped my entire musical, um, uh, what do you want to say, spectrum, I guess, because Pink Floyd, they were the first band, much like I said with the Super Nintendo, that I fell in love with. And then I got into people like this guy back here, David Bowie, and um, uh, Queen, and um, Led Zeppelin, and stuff, but it was really Pink Floyd was, I wasn't really much of a music fan until I listened to Pink Floyd. Um, except for video game music, <laughs> I always liked video game music, so, um, yeah, other than that, yeah, I would say I'm mostly a rock and roll kind of junkie, and uh, I like, I like pretty much anything rock, which is great. Um... So, uh, question number eight, what do I do for work? Uh, right now I work at a, like, at the, basically the, uh, what is known as the county building around here. 
and I'm a custodian, which isn't such a bad gig. The only problem I have with it at the moment is that um, I work opposite schedules of my wife. So in a way it's good because like, I have a lot of time to myself during the day and stuff. And that's when I usually do most of my stuff on the channel. Or when I get home from work, she's usually asleep. So um, I will record videos, as you guys know, oftentimes at like, you know, between like 12 and 2 in the morning. So that's pretty much when Super Metroid was. Oops. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. Um, it's pretty much when Super Metroid was uh, <laughs> like always. Uh, Recorded was it like 2 in the morning and a lot of Kingdom Hearts and stuff, too. So yeah um, That's what I pretty much do. I just do like custodial work. It's not bad. I get paid pretty decently and um, You know, it's where I met Dave who's been on the channel a bunch um, I work with him, which is nice and we usually play video games on our break <laughs> It was a great a lot of Pokemon and stuff and uh, a little bit of Street Fighter But um, yeah, so that's pretty much what I do. I've done all kinds of stuff in the past. I've never really um I didn't, uh, I don't have, like, any kind of special career that I, you know, have done. I've just kind of gone from job to job, I hate to say, but, you know, that's kind of, I don't, I don't feel too terrible about it. Sometimes it bugs me, but the th thing is, I realize there's a lot of people my age that are in that kind of a situation, so it's like, you know, it's whatever. At least, like, doing stuff like this with the channel and stuff, like, kind of, and like having all, I have like so many other hobbies, you know, it kind of is what, you know, I kind of live for those, for that stuff, you know, and my, my wife, of course, Rachel, but, uh, I mean, at the same time, it's not like, excuse me, working there is like horrible. It's, it's really not too bad of a job, so I can't complain. In the end, I'm making money and I can pay bills and stuff, so that's all that's important. Um, moving on, uh, number nine. What is my favorite food or drink? Well, my favorite drink is probably this beautiful black su black substance here, which is coffee. I absolutely love coffee. I used to smoke cigarettes, and uh, when I smoked, it was like a cigarette and a coffee, like constantly. Uh, but I quit smoking, so now, uh, and I cut down my coffee intake. I usually only drink about a cup or two a day. Um, I used to drink like a lot of coffee, but I, I had to calm down because it was getting too much. Now, um, since I moved in with my with Rachel, um, I've been drinking a lot more tea than I ever did, which is honestly probably better for me anyway. So it's it's uh, not bad. I've been I drink a lot of cold hibiscus tea lately, and um, as you guys remember, probably if you go back to Kingdom Hearts and. Uh, Super Mario 64 and stuff, I was, <clears throat> excuse me, I was drinking a lot of hot tea as well, so like, you know, uh, like, I love black tea, I love chai tea, I love, uh, you know, like, all kinds of, like, fruit teas and stuff, like, I just, tea, any tea is pretty much good, except for, like, really sugary teas, because it's not tea, it's liquid sugar, so, and speaking of liquid sugar, if I had to pick one soda that I like, it's Dr. Pepper, which I still have occasionally with Rachel, because, uh, you know, I, I don't drink soda all the time anymore. I used to, but um, it's uh, Dr. Pepper will have occasionally, every once every few weeks or so. So, And usually if I ever have a pizza, I'll usually get a soda because it's a good combination. So, um, yeah, I would say coffee and then tea, and then if I had to pick a soda, Dr. Pepper. Oh, oh my favorite food and drink. Oh, whoopsie, I forgot about food. Um... Food, let's see, I love tacos, I love burgers, I love pizza, so, so basically the all-American diet, but um, again, Rachel's profoundly in, in, uh, influenced my diet, um, and I find that I enjoy more than anything nowadays, well, one thing that I've always loved is Japanese food, and we'll get that occasionally, which, like, so su like sushi I love, I'm, I'm, I'm like, totally obsessed with sushi, um, and I love, I love like, I've gone to hibachi a few times and that's really good. And I'll pretty much eat any Japanese food, it's delicious. I don't do Chinese because I think, because they use a lot of MSG and I uh, think I'm allergic to MSG. Um, and then uh, she's also got me really into Thai food in the last year and a half, two years or so. Um, which is amazing. Like I love curries and like all, like all kinds of shit. Like pretty much Thai, Japanese, and then also Indian food I've been eating 
a lot too. I, she's got me into that as well, so. I like ethnic foods just as much as I like my all-American garbage, you know? <laughs> but long story short, I'll eat anything. And I, I can't forget tacos, like Mexican food. I love Mexican food. Ugh, it's like amazing. And Italian food. See, I, I just love food. I'm As you can might have found out by now, I'm not a picky person. <laughs> I'm pretty open to, to just about anything when it comes to a lot of stuff, so. And that's some of my favorite food that I, that I really love. Um... Let's move on here. Number 10. What is the first game I ever played? Well, I think I just mentioned that, uh, so I won't go take forever on this. The first video game I ever played... Actually, technically the first video game I ever played was probably an Atari game, because my, uh, my parents had an Atari, and I remember playing it when I was very young. I remember playing Pitfall. I remember playing Pac-Man on the Atari. I remember playing... Um, uh, I think it was Breakout. I think I remember playing Breakout. And there's a couple others that I remember playing on the Atari 2600. I should should specify. I'd like to get a 2600 again. Um, yeah. Other than that, uh, you know, we didn't have a system for a number of years until the Super Nintendo. But I remember I skipped the NES for whatever reason. I think I remember seeing my cousin play the NES once. I think it was Super Mario Bros. or Duck Hunt they were playing, and. Um, then the first system that really hooked me on games was again the Super Nintendo, and I remember playing Super Mario All-Stars and Super Mario World on uh, Super Nintendo. That was way back in like 92 or 93. Probably 93. It was about, about when Super Mario All-Stars came out, so it was... I was like five, it was a long time ago. And that that hooked me. That, I've, I've been... I've been a gamer ever since then, <laughs> pretty much. You know, I've... I've uh, you know, one, then once, like I mentioned before, once I got the Super Nintendo and the Sega Genesis, it was over. Then I eventually got a Game Boy and an N64, and, you know, later on, other systems like the PS2 and the Wii and shit like that. I got a 360. You know, I just keep, you know, till this day, I'm still a gamer. So, um, yeah, it was really the, the Mario's, the first, the first Super Mario Bros, particularly, uh, on Super Mario All-Stars that hooked me. That and Super Mario World, without a doubt. Um, number question number eleven is when did I first start making videos? Um, the funny thing about making videos is that um, back in the day I used to make websites and I used to make little animated gifs once in a while, and I started uh, making stuff on what was that program? I'm trying to remember. Um, it's been so long I can't even remember the program. It was an old program. But I used to make little sprite videos once in a while. Just little things, like not like little gifts and shit like that. And uh, in high school I took a couple of classes for um, for videos, like a digital imaging class. And then I was in an honors video class and I took videos that way. Or I made videos that way. And then I've never, I wasn't one of these guys who like always had a camera and like started filming stuff. But um... Uh, I recently went back to college for a little while, and um, I uh, took a few courses there and learned a few other things about videos and whatnot. But most of it I learned myself. I just taught myself some stuff. I mean, it's very it's very basic stuff. I don't, you know, I'm not some great video editor or anything like that. But um, my interest in videos doing what I'm doing now really stem from Walt actually which is odd that my little brother I guess would influence me to do this but he had a channel a number of years ago that he ended up having like 700 subscribers with and then he ended up leaving the channel and then it was like I think a year later or something like that maybe a little less he uh him and I started talking about doing um let's plays ourselves heavily influenced by the Game Grumps, because I love the Game Grumps. And then uh, we started our first um, uh, channel called Select Player, which you guys can check out, it's still up, I'll put a link in the description below. And we did a, uh, we did a, we tried to do a play of Super Mario RPG, which we did a good portion of, and we also did a couple parts of Secret of Mana, and then we didn't, we didn't really have any capture software, we, we recorded them off of ROMs. Um, so we, uh, we instead, we, we kind of left that alone for a while, and then we wanted to, re I wanted, I, I liked it so much that I wanted to revisit it. So I, I at, basically asked him if he would go half in on a capture card, which we did, and we got a microphone as well. Actually, this very microphone, 
uh, and the cap that's the capture card I use as well. And um, yeah, we started doing, we resurrected, resurrected the select player thing, and I thought I loved it because we had a whole gimmick with the stupid like Super Mario Bros. 2 like character selection screen, and we had different people coming on and stuff like that. And uh, it was great, and we had a lot of fun doing that. Admittedly, I wasn't so good in terms of attendance for a little while there because that's when Rachel and I started dating, so I was leaving a lot on the weekends to go see her and stuff which that's part of another question that I'll get to in a little bit. But um, yeah, so it ended up eventually due to time reasons and stuff like that. We just, and also I think we had some technical issues too. You'd have to, I'd have to ask Walt because he, he's the one that kind of ended up pulling the plug on it at the end. But it wasn't just because it was a, a lot to do with the fact that I wasn't around too. So, um, and he was having, I know we were having technical issues and what, stuff like that and other crap was going on. So anyway, that was about a year ago we did all that. And then um, when I moved back in, um, or excuse me, not when I when I moved here with uh, with Rachel, um, I don't know. I wanted something to do because you know we again were starting that like opposite schedule thing and whatnot, and I wasn't feeling very fulfilled in terms of like what I did every day. I felt like I was just kind of like wasting time, so. Um, I pretty much, you know, Walt had the capture software. I tried, I, I bugged him to get it back, and then um, so I got it, and then that's when I started making videos, and that was it. I mean, I pretty much went with the same kind of formula we did with Select Player, except it was just by myself, and then I thought I, it kind of gradually, all the stuff that has happened on the channel now has just happened organically. It's just ideas that have come to me, and having all the different people I had on is sort of like an extension of the Select Player thing, but. I kind of like it because the channel's centered around me, but I pull people from all different directions to come and guest on videos and stuff, so... Uh, although, admittedly, there haven't been too many guests lately, but that's okay. It's fine. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much how I got to this point, so... Yeah, that's that, that's pretty much why I started making videos, and I just like doing it. I love the editing process just as much as I like the recording of the games and playing all the games, and. It's been a great excuse to revisit games that I haven't played in a while, and then like Kingdom Hearts, like I never beat it, and now I've beaten it because I played it on the channel, and you know, now I'm playing Resident Evil 4 for the first time in years, you know, I played Super Mario 64 for the first time in years. I mean, there's other games like that that I'll probably play too, like Yoshi's Island I haven't played in a long time, we'll probably stream that, so... It's just a good excuse to me to play video games, doing something I really love, and... You know, uh, exercise my creative juices. It's it's a it's a really important thing for me to do that. So um, that's pretty much how I got here. Uh, moving on again, number twelve. What other than gaming do you do for fun? Uh, music. I listen to lo music like constantly. Um, I just like I realize I'm like spitting all over the uh, <laughs> the table here. Hold on. Music. I listen to music like constantly. Especially at work, I bought like a speaker that I'm always like blasting like metal and stuff out of. It gets me through the night. Um, but yeah, like music, I used to write a lot. I haven't been doing that a lot lately, but I want to sit down and start doing that at some point. But I, you know, used to write like short stories and I have a fan fiction that, that I uh, was writing that I still want to continue. And um, I write, I used to write a lot of poems and stuff like that. Writing is one of my favorite things to do, and I used to read, writing and reading I've been really bad with lately, because I used to read books constantly, and I used to write all the time too, and I feel like my, in, I don't know if my interests have just changed, or it's just because like, doing something like reading a book and writing requires a very large amount of time, I feel, and a lot of energy, and um, it's not... And it's engaging and it's fulfilling, but it's not like something like this where I can just like sit down, play a game. And playing a game is relaxing, in my opinion. Not that writing and and, and reading aren't, but it's just it, I don't, I can't explain it. I guess very well. For me, it's different. So um, it's it's something I really want to do, but I want to have a little bit less hectic of a lifestyle. And um, I also haven't really had like a book that's grabbed me in a little while, so. Um, you know, it's something I want to get back into, especially the writing bit, because I always loved writing a lot, but that was something I was into for quite a while. Um, aside from stuff like that, yeah, uh, listening to music, I love hanging out with my friends, who doesn't, you know, 
I have uh, quite a lot of fun hanging out with them. As you guys probably see in some of the videos where people guest uh, on and um, hanging out with Rachel. That's probably my favorite thing to do is to hang out with her because we have like such a great relationship and she's um, she's just a lot of fun to hang out with. She's funny, you know? <laughs> it's like, it takes precedence over everything else, hence us getting married, right? So it's been, uh, that's probably my favorite thing to do. I love you, sweetie. Uh, I like to um, go hiking a lot. I love hiking. I haven't been able to do it much lately because um, I haven't, you know, I like to hike with her and we work opposite schedules, so um, unfortunately it's not, you know. I mean, I, I don't mind hiking by myself either, but I don't know. I'd rather have like some, you know, I'd rather have some good conversation with her or somebody else to walk with, so. Um, but it is beautiful. I love being out in nature. It's fun. I like to go swimming when the weather's nice. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. All that I can think of aside from playing video games, obviously, so. Uh, that's probably uh, some of my other hobbies there. Um, um, number 13, what is my favorite book? Uh, my favorite book is actually a series called The Wheel of Time by uh, Robert Jordan. Uh, I've read all of those books. I love those. I love them. Um, uh, the first, like, or maybe, like, uh, books, like, 8 through 10 aren't that great, but the rest of it's fantastic, so... Uh, if you haven't read The Wheel of Time by Robert Jordan, give it a shot. I love it. I love fantasy books. I love Brandon Sanderson. He's great. I've read, of course, I didn't finish the fifth book, but pretty much all the Song of Ice and Fire books. Um, oh, what else? Um, I used to read a lot of philosophy, which I haven't really been doing much either lately. Um, what else? Uh, there's just a bunch of books that I like, but my favorite is Wheel of Time, probably. Number 14, how did I meet my wife? This is a very long story, so I'm gonna keep this very short. Um, back in the day, in like 2002, 2003, I had a website um, based on the Mario games. She had a website called Purple Yoshi's page. She was known as Purple Yoshi, I was known as Stanley the Bugman. If anybody knows who Stanley the Bugman is, then you're awesome. Um, we met uh, through our websites, through actually another person that I was friends with. And we linked, you know, we affiliated with e with each other. And then Rachel and her brother had a, a forum called uh, the Ultimate Nintendo Message Board, and it became like a very kind of a large community of people. And we, you know, um, basically were kind of a big online family for a long time. And uh, Rachel and I pretty much talked all the time on MSN back in the day when we were teenagers. So I've known her since I was like 12 or 13, you know. And we always kind of maintained a friendship. It kind of waxed and waned in our middle years there a little bit, like from like, I'd say like, you know, the late teens to the mid, early mid twenties. I would talk, there were times where I talked to her maybe like maybe once a year, you know? And then we kind of reconnected and um, uh, we finally met in person in 2013. And that was it. I mean, we, uh, after we met, then we started meeting on a regular basis. She's Canadian, so she was seven hours away uh, I, I went and visited Canada a few times. We actually met in New York City for the first time. It was a really nice day. And she went to New Jersey a few times. And then um, we eventually started dating uh, in, at the end of 2015. And then uh, we started meeting, like luckily, thank, thankfully, my aunt and uncle live in upstate New York, which is a good middle point for us. It was about like three hours f away from me and about four for her. So yeah, we started meeting in the middle of bunch and we decided to move in together and then because of the differences, you know, because she's uh, Canadian and I'm American, you know, we were lucky she was able to get basically a, a, a work visa because she graduated uh, college. So um, she was able to come to the States and then we decided we would get married because, you know, we were, were really in love and uh, we wanted to uh, be together. So that's pretty much what happened. So kind of crazy. I, <laughs> you know. <laughs> You know, you always hear stories about people meeting on, uh, like, World of Warcraft and shit like that. Well, it wasn't something like that, but it was because of, again, because of gaming, you know, I met my wife. And, you know, it's a pretty great story. So there's a bunch of other stuff involved in that, but I wanted to keep that short and sweet. So that's basically how it happened. Um, number 15, what was my first love, hobby, passion? I put this on here because I had, it needs mentioned dinosaurs. When I was a kid... I was obsessed with dinosaurs. That's what I was talking about before with the uh, with Jurassic Park. 
Um, sorry, my somebody texted me. Uh, yeah, with Jurassic Park, yeah, like I, I was obsessed with that movie because I loved dinosaurs when I was a kid. I had dinosaur books, toys, I wanted to be a paleontologist. In some ways, I kind of wish I had stuck with that dream, but uh, I never came to fruition. And that's okay, I, st I still very much love dinosaurs, so that was really my first love, dinosaurs. And I still do love them. Um, what is your favorite game series, number 16? My favorite game series is probably the Mario series. Without question. Um, it just has the richest library of games. Uh, probably one of the largest library of games of any other uh, gaming series. I mean, you have stuff like Super Mario Bros. 1, 2, 3, Super Mario World. Um, you know, all the Mario Kart games, all the Mario sports games, all the Mario RPG games, all the like open world games like Mario 64, Mario Sunshine, Mario Galaxy, stuff like that. Um, I mean, everything from puzzle games, plus all the spin-offs with like other characters like Luigi's Mansion and uh, all the Yoshi games and the Wario games and all that stuff and you know I mean it's just to me it's the best series I absolutely love the Mario games so hands down the Mario games um, what game do I wish I owned the most right now uh, at the moment I really really can't wait for Samus Returns to come out <laughs> Metroid Samus Returns like I want that to come out that I want Kingdom Hearts 3, I want uh, Metroid Prime 4, and I really, really want that new Pokemon game for Switch. I can't wait for that fucking game. It's going to be amazing. So, uh, so yeah, those are probably some of the ones that I really wish I had right now. As, uh, as far as classic games go, I wish I had like every Enix RPG for the Super NES, because <laughs> they're so expensive. Uh, particularly Evo, Soul Blazer, um, Ogre Battle... Uh, all the ones I mentioned in the Super NES Classic video. Um, number 18. What do you believe spiritually? Um, I'm gonna keep this one very short and simple. I don't believe. I'm... I, like, I guess I would self-identify as an atheist, but I'm not one of those annoying atheists who, like, need to proselytize every five seconds, you know? Um, I just... I... I... When I say I, I'm an atheist, I don't dismiss the idea of God. I just don't really believe in an afterlife or a God. But I don't rule it out either. So, um, you know, I it's kind of an... Most people call that agnostic. Call it whatever you want. Who cares about the, the stupid label, I guess. But, uh, you know, um, I just don't really have a strong belief in that. I kind of believe more in, like, enjoying, you know the life we have now, and then I'll, f I'll either find out or I won't find out, that's the way I look at it. I know for some people that's that might be annoying, because some people it's a deep topic that, you know, they think about a lot, but to me it doesn't really matter, you know, I just, it's not, you know, it's not really something that, um, you know, uh, I worry about too much. Um, you know, and people should believe whatever they want to believe, as long as they don't infringe on other other people's beliefs that's how i believe that's what i think about it you know um i have a, f a few small issues uh, well not small issues i have a few big issues with really really strict like um organized religion that's very very like dogmatic i do but at the same time like i've met plenty of religious people who are the nicest people ever and it's like I don't care what people believe. Do what you want to do. Just don't, just don't like force it on me. And you know, if if you feel like it makes you a good person, and uh, you um, you uh, it makes it makes you feel good, then that's fine. That's fine. But just just you know, live and let live. That's how I look at it. Okay, what what is your greatest game accomplishment aside from Kingdom Hearts? Um, the uh, <laughs> like finally beating Kingdom Hearts. Like dear God. Uh, Probably uh, my biggest gaming accomplishment uh, for me would be I placed third in a Smash Bros. tournament, um, which I thought was amazing. It was when the 3DS, it was a midnight release of the 3DS version of uh, Super Smash Bros. And there, there was a huge tournament at this local comic shop that's still around in my hometown. Uh, and uh, there was like probably about 30 or 40 people there and I placed third. I, d I actually almost beat this one guy who's third in the nation, which was pretty great. So. I felt pretty good about my Smash Bros. skills that night. Um, that's probably, to me, my my ba my greatest um, accomplishment, if I have to say. If not just, I mean, and if not just like beating all the games that I have, you know. Um, number twenty. Who 
Oh, this is actually the last question. Twenty. Who is slash are your heroes? Um, my heroes are uh, people that are. Um, sorry. Uh, my heroes are people that uh, you probably wouldn't expect. Um, I think I pretty much in general admire anybody who is um, themselves. Um, I, I would say without a doubt that's that's uh, that's probably my biggest hero. So it's it's anybody in um, you know anybody like I meet or anybody in like pop culture or whatever who is like that I really admire because it's hard to be yourself sometimes. It's e it's easy to be pressured to conform to a certain way. So um, you know anybody who kind of just is a trailblazer and walks their own path, I really really admire and appreciate. Um, you know, uh, a musician of mine that I can think that I love is, uh, or a mu excuse me, a musician that I love that I can think of is Frank Zappa. He was like that. Um, uh, who else? Um, a guy like George Carlin. I th he's one of my favorite comedians. Like, I I love that guy. <laughs> he was he was great. He was so smart, and he would just you know cut his own path. Anybody like that, but not even just people like that. Like just people, anybody who. Um, who, uh, you know, there's friends of mine that I can think of, you know, um, people I've met who are like that, who are even very different from me, but if you're kind of your own person, I respect that more than anything else, so that's what I would just say, a general, like, be, you know, people who are themselves, I really, really admire that, and I guess I admire that quality in a person, so it's not necessarily a certain person, but, um, it's a number of people I can think of, um, but, uh, yeah, that, that quality I'd really admire. Uh, and then I have a bonus question for you um, that I put in here, the 21st questions. So, because um, I thought this would be interesting. Why did you join YouTube and start a channel? Um, I think I pretty much answered this before. I didn't realize I was going to answer it when I jotted that down. But I think I joined it in general to sum it up very simply um, because I just wanted something I wanted to do something creatively stimulating I want to do something that I love doing and I really wanted to I think connect with more people too because I, I, that whole idea was uh, kind of interesting to me and I also also putting myself out there it's not an easy thing for me to do generally so to do it on the scale that I'm doing it with on YouTube is uh, really neat because I'm actually getting very comfortable with it I can like talk to the camera now and I don't feel you know, weird about it. Um, whereas if you look at the very first video where it says, welcome to my channel, I look very awkward. <laughs> and this is after I had um, done all the stuff with Select Player too, so, but it, it had been several months since I had done that, so uh, I guess if you don't do something like that for a while, it can feel a little uncomfortable. But um, yeah, that's pretty much the reason, you know, or those reasons that I stated. I, I just want to, I get a lot of fulfillment out of it. I enjoy interacting with you guys. I enjoy making videos. I love the whole process. I love that I get to play all these video games all the time. And um, yeah, it's just a lot of fun. So, uh, and I love doing videos like this where I can kind of stretch, you know, outside the barriers a little bit and, um, you know, do something different. So, you know, and you guys can expect more of that from this channel uh, as well. So, um, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, everything goes well and the channel continues to grow. And I, again, appreciate all you guys uh, for checking me out. And for all of you who will watch this and check me out in the future, that's, uh, thank you. That's all I can say. So, um, but anyway, that's the end of this little uh, exercise. Hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys got a little bit out of it. Hopefully, um, you guys know a little bit more about me. Uh, if you have any, uh, I'll do another, if you guys have any other questions that you want to pose, comment below and I'll do another video, you know. I'll do another, uh, like... Um, video like this where I answer questions. I actually really enjoyed it. So um, I hope you guys, uh, you know, got to learn a bit more about me. I hope you like what you learned. If you didn't, that's okay too. And uh, thanks for checking out the video. I will see you guys next time. Peace.